Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Cass Yessery and this is Learn With Us. Welcome back. My name is Cassie Yessery and this is Learn With Us. I am super excited because today I'm finally getting to show you our maker space. It is done and I am so excited. Oh my gosh, the kids are going to freak out and I can't wait. I love surprising them and it's going to be so much fun. Before I show you the grand reveal, there was a lot that went into this project and I've been recording it kind of like a documentary and so I'm excited to show you the process of how all of this came to be. Some of you may be asking, what is a makerspace? Well, surely you've probably heard of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. <laughs> Got them all. And also now they're adding in art to make it STEAM. So I went to a professional development led by one of my coworkers and I was introduced to this idea of a makerspace, a place where kids are encouraged to build and make things and use these things to solve a problem. So it gets them thinking, well, outside the box, Thanks, Brooke Brown. It gets them thinking outside the box and it's a way to challenge them in a different way than just your typical academics. And so I'm super excited because I know that my kids are going to really benefit from this and they're still going to be learning just in a different way and I can't wait to show them. So anyways, if you're interested in what a makerspace might look like, then keep watching. So right after I went to the professional development, I came back to my classroom and thought, where can I fit this in? And then I realized I have a fabulous closet, actual closet. It even has a window in this classroom. I think that's totally bizarre. The classroom is small, but the closet makes up for it in which I've been putting a lot of my teacher things in there. And I realized I don't need another little room. That room could be used so much better if the students were using it. So I decided this is where my makerspace is going to be. However, there was a lot of work to do. So here we go. Just cleaned out the closet and it is a disaster. <laughs> but it has so much space. It's really tall so I can put stuff on the walls. Um, yeah, this is like, you know, the skeletons in people's closets. Like this is my closet with all of my skeletons. Um, yeah, I have all that space. So most of my books that I'm not using right now will go in there. And then this is where all of our supplies are. So that's going to stay there, but I do need to organize these in which then I can put some stem things on the shelves. Super excited. I cleaned out my closet and got it all organized with the bins and everything it was time to go ask for the money hey guys so tonight I am going to present to the Turner Parent Club my request for funds for the makerspace um, I'm requesting money for different building materials and all of that is about $350 which is a lot of money um, I have this whole wish list set up that I went through. Uh, one of my coworkers actually already had everything itemized because she also was wanting to get some money for that. And so she just gave me her list and I just said, I want that and that and that. And here we go. So um, the meeting is in a couple minutes. I submitted my proposal today and uh, here we go. It got approved, yeah. Uh, they gave me a ton of money and it was so kind of them because they were like, well, this isn't even going to the teacher. It's all going straight back to the students. I wanted to make sure that the supplies I was getting would benefit students for a really long time. So that's how I chose what I wanted for the space as well as what would fit well and would be 
mobile. So they could do projects in the makerspace, but we could also turn our whole classroom into a makerspace by bringing those stations out here. You guys, a bunch of my orders just came in and I am stoked, like so excited. Let me show you some of the stuff I got. So I got this gigantic set of snap circuit. Um, these mag formers. I got a ton of tape because they're gonna be making a lot of stuff. Huh. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just came like that. Look at all of these popsicle sticks. I think I ordered like a thousand. It is now finally time to show you the finished product of the Makerspace. I'm super excited about it, and I hope this inspires you to also want to find a space in your room where your kids can be makers. Also, super important, the labels that these are from are from Brooke Brown with Teaching Outside the Box. She is like the STEM master, and a lot of the stuff is from her, so there's that. I'm super excited about putting this table sideways in here because picture a bunch of first graders in here. You could have so many kids on either side, but it also gives them space at the end. They can walk around. There's plenty of space for them to move. Oh, I'm so excited. Over here on this wall is a bunch of ideas of different shapes that they could make or different things. Just kind of some inspiration because we know there's a lot of those kids who always say, I don't know what to do, or they can't think of anything, that kind of thing. So here is a wall of inspiration. This is also up there giving them ideas of how can I make it even better? I'm actually going to end up putting pictures on here of different kids and their creations. Over here are some trays for them to put their works in progress, probably recyclable material type stuff. And that's where they can kind of set it aside so it's out of the way and other kids can still use this space. I might swap these out eventually because of the holes, but we'll see, it might work. Underneath here are a bunch of recyclables that we've used from a lot of it was the packaging for these things. So we have plenty right now for them to uh, create. I am super, super excited about these magnetic blocks. Um, they're like the mega formers that I showed earlier. Holy moly, you can make so many things with these and I'm, I wanna play with them. <laughs> these beauties are Kiva, Keva? probably Kiva blocks. <laughs> um, they came with this whole idea book and super fun because it really gives them challenges. This might be a bit advanced for my crew, but that's okay, dreaming big. They're basically just plain pieces of wood, <laughs> but they're, they're pretty solid. So uh, talk about lasting material here. This is a totally strange idea. I'd never heard of it until I actually saw it on here, but we purchased some Velcro dots that we put on the end of these so you can stick them together to build different things like different shapes and stuff. These are cool. I still need to get some pipe cleaners to put in here, but you use them kind of like joints to connect the straws together to make different things. I also got these sturdy trays for some projects if we wanted to move them out into the classroom. I also had this plethora of containers and so I decided we'll just put them up here for now. 
Uh, I got these specifically for Play-Doh, so I'm gonna make some at home and put them up here so the kids can use that as well. I and put these science books up here so the kids can look at them for some inspiration. And I mean, wouldn't be science without a globe, right? If we ever need to close the makerspace, then we can just easily close it off with these curtains, but they're really pretty much out of the way, so I like that. I'm also planning on using this class iPad that we have for the kids to take pictures or videos of the things that they're doing in the makerspace or just all around the room. Of course, they'll have to be careful, and this is just one for the whole class to share, but it'll be really cool to see what they see from their perspective, and it'll give me a chance to really analyze what they're doing <laughs> in the makerspace because, of course, I will be monitoring that area, but I want to trust them and I want to see how it goes. And so this will allow me a little bit of that security as well as be able to really showcase what they're doing with the space and the materials. And like I said, I want to put up pictures of the kids and their creations. And so this is a perfect way to get a lot of those pictures. One more way that I'm going to utilize this is to put videos on here showing the kids what to do, whether it's on YouTube or um, me recording myself to show them a video, because then that means that I don't have to explain the same thing five times. They can just push play every time they're like, what were we supposed to do? Oh yeah. I am really excited about that. <laughs> so that is it. That is our makerspace. And I'm so, so excited to show the kids tomorrow. <gasps> oh my gosh. I've been giving them little teasers and hints about like what is happening back there because they've been noticing all of the boxes and that I've cleared my stuff out of there, but they didn't know what exactly we'd be doing. So I cannot wait to show them. It's gonna be awesome. If you have any questions for me about the materials or about procedures or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. I am trying this out for the first time, so I do not know how this is going to go. It's kind of like an experiment, but I'm really excited to try it out, and I think it will actually go pretty stinking well. And this class is really good at listening, and so I think this is the perfect class to like try it out with. Anyways, thank you so much for being here and hopefully being excited with me. It's going to be really fun, and I just hope that this inspires you to try something new. I am definitely trying something new here. So thanks for being here and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.